Welcome back to San Joaquin Audits. On this channel, we take a look at police interaction videos. In today's video, you're going to see a man be pulled over at 2 a.m. as he is entering work on private property. This video perfectly demonstrates what a true American is, in my opinion. This man is educated on his rights and works hard hours, yet demands a certain level of respect and professionalism from public servants. This video comes to us from the channel Hannah LeBrake. Be sure to go over to their channel and give them the credit that they deserve. Watch how this educated driver schools this cop on manners. You're gonna stop talking to me like that, sir, or you, you can have a supervisor. I just wanted to know why you stopped me and you're talking over me and you are... I let you know and I'm waiting for your license. And I'm getting it as fast as I can, sir, and you will stop me, talking... Right? Hey, Let's go. Right you are a civil servant. I am not. You are supposed to rise above this crap. I, mean, I don't exactly need the attitude after a bunch of mouth. I, I asked you. I have the I right to know. Right? You will slow your roll with me, sir, and you will approach me with a better attitude, or you can just walk away and I get a supervisor you. here. You're you giving me an attitude when you approach my car. I well, asked you, you, like you to tell me. I can get you a supervisor. I just now want you, want? I want you to slow your roll with me and not talk to me like I'm beneath like you. I'm asking if you want to stop. I want you to stop talking to me that way. You will respect me as a human being. Do you understand me? I have respected you. No, you haven't. I asked you why you stopped me and said, what's the problem? And I will move as fast as I would like, thank you. You're not going to bully me, guy. A badge don't I scare me. You. Yeah. You. Not, not, Do you hear not your at tone? Not at Do all. you hear your tone? I'm supposed to be at work right now, I and you want to mess around. That's right, you don't, because you're giving me an attitude. I got attitude from you before I even stepped I said, is it? I said, what's I the problem, the officer? Window. What's with the light? Turn the light off. I need your yeah, license. To because you're breaking the law. Those are emergency lights, sir. Are you indicating an emergency right now? No, you are not. Go, yeah, that's right. An investigation, not an emergency. So shut the f***ing lights off. Here's your registration, insurance, and proof of So where are you headed tonight, huh? I work right here. I'm at my job. Question. You... Very simple question. Yeah. Slow your tone with me, and you'll get a better question. one. Start talking to me like a human ready. being, and you'll get it. You've gotten the information you need. All right, sir. I'm not doing very good, officer. The gentleman comes up to my car. I said, what's the problem, officer? He shines his spotlight in my face, and I understand that's for his protection. I asked him to turn the light off because he was blinding me. And then I said, what's the, what seems to be the problem, officer? And he wants to raise his voice to me and tell me license and registration. I said, that would be fine, sir, as soon as you tell me what I've done. The law states constitutionally that unless you think I've committed a crime or, or about to commit a crime, I don't even have to, I don't have to give you my ID. But I will give it to you. I just want to know why I'm stopped. That's it, because I'm at my job on private property. And I, so I can't, I can't imagine why there's a cop behind me at my job in on private property stopping me because he says my, my exhaust is loud. Okay? I, uh, speak and I apologize. I apologize for raising typically, my voice to you. Typically, when we stop cars, mm -hmm. we don't know that you're going to work. Yes, sir. We I understand that. You work for Ithaca Times or whatever. Paper yes, sir. Or you guys, you guys this, is, this I am aware um, of. As far as probable cause for the stop, we had, is when you sign your DMV stuff, you have to issue your license because you have to carry it with you when you're operating. Only if I'm committing a crime, sir. Constitutionally, constitutionally, the federal law overrides county, state, and city in every time. To make, a, make an arrest, we have to have probable cause. And mind you, you may not be committing a crime. You, you had committed he, a traffic offense, which is a lot of my A violation, which is covered under the color of law, not real law. But you still have to provide your license. Yeah, yes, sir. But so I also have a right to know when a cop walks up to my car why I'm being stopped, correct? But normally we don't we don't inform you what you're being stopped for until we know who we're talking well, to. Well, that makes me feel unsafe because reason, I, I don't reason, know why you're stopping me. The reason for that is is that there's been cases, not necessarily here in Ithaca. But, but just cases, in general. Cases in general where we tell you why you stop and they take off. Now right. we don't know who we have. Right. At least if we know who we're talking to. But see how you approach me? You're we, talking we to me kind. He was raising his voice and, 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 and you know, and I'm like, yo, dude. And I can you, understand your frustration. I am not a supervisor. I'm just here. Plus it's two o'clock in the morning. You know what I mean? Like, really? And he asked me where I'm going. I told him I'm at work. You know what I mean? I'm here. I'm at work. But we don't know that. Right. We don't no, I tried to, he won't let me talk. Though, He's just like, do what I say, do what I say, do what I say. The thing is, though, with, with a demeanor towards us or anybody else, mm -hmm. it's going to dictate if you're going to get a citation or mm -hmm. not. Oh, I don't care if you raise me for a loud muffler. Notice how this officer is coming to the defense of his partner without understanding the totality of the situation. He then goes on to say that your demeanor towards the officer will determine whether or not you get a citation. A demeanor towards us or anybody else, mm -hmm. it's going to dictate if you're going to get a citation or mm -hmm. not. That's fucking illegal. Yeah, yeah, that's, and that's what I'm saying. Like, he just, you know, for a muffler, he's approaching me angry. Right. You know what I mean? And if you're going to be angry, I can be angry right back. I mean, you know, you it's... You do what I do. I just kill people with my kindness. Well, I was, I was trying to get my information out, and while I was doing that, I was asking. I mean, I don't see the harm in letting me, you know. And I can understand you're frustrated because you're yeah. trying to get, I mean, you guys work crappy hours. Yeah, and I'm late. <laughs> and now I'm even What's up, later. Chris? 
Yeah. You know what I mean? I know you didn't do anything. You just stay out of trouble. So he's just going to run your stuff. I'm not sure what, if he's going to write your ticket or not. Oh, I don't care. Um, that's, that's fine. Just keep it cool with him. And then uh, hopefully we can just end this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Yep. Thank you, sir. You too. See, now that's a nice cop right here. Oh, you recording the whole thing? That's what I was trying to tell him. <laughs> and you're like, shut up. <laughs> Have your license and registration and all your stuff. Is so that it? No, well, I'm, I'm just going to talk to you for a moment. I pulled you over for your loud muffler, all right? It doesn't have to be a crime for me to pull you over. It is a violation. It's loud. I heard it. Heard it inside my car, okay? I was more than happy to let you know. Okay, right. what I'm saying to you is you approached my car with your voice raised already. Okay, when I ask you, when I ask you why you stopped me, it's your job as an officer to tell me why I'm being stopped. I don't know that you're a real cop. I, you, wait, you got sirens on your car? That doesn't mean anything. Okay. okay, so when I ask you why am I being stopped, it's a simple answer. I'm getting my license and registration. It's going to take a minute. Okay, okay. I'm a human being. Yes, I have been pulled over before. And listen, I know my rights, and you do have to have a legitimate reason. Absolutely. To Absolutely. right, right. Just, just so you understand, no, okay, a violation is not a crime, okay? Correct. So I don't have to give you, it, it doesn't matter. I, I know the, I know my rights, okay? And I'm, I, I, I'm trying my best not to get an attitude, okay? And given the situation across the country with police doing the things that they have done, mm -hmm. it makes people a bit nervous and a bit agitated when you, when, when you think that you're gonna come up and you're gonna command me around. You are an officer of the law and you do deserve a certain amount of respect. I know you saw the badge, okay? I, the deal is I get what you do. Okay. Sure. On the same hand, understand that I'm a human being and I deserve to be treated with a certain level of respect. Now, I'm not saying if I sit here and cuss you that you got to maintain a certain level of profession, professionalism, but I do say when you walk up to my car, you can say, good evening, sir. Um, the reason I'm stopping you is because your exhaust is kind of loud. And do you I'm, know how I approached you initially? Yeah. You oh, walked okay. up to me and said license and registration. I said, what seems to be the problem, officer? No, and you I, said license and registration. I don't believe I yelled it. I, I well, okay. The your tone, then you might you want to take a class on addressing people because you. you have sarcasm and you're short with your answers. Okay. And that's, to me, seems unprofessional. Okay. That's all I'm saying. I, I don't know if it is or not. I, who am I to say? All I'm saying to you is, is that I wanted to know why you stopped me. And that's a perfectly simple request to say, why are you stopping me? Just so you know, I was more than happy to tell you that. And by the you way, it is against the law for you to have your red lights on while you're stopping somebody. That's why the cop cars are equipped with directionals in the back. Don't shake your head. They're called emergency okay, lights. Well, and if it is a law, okay, now, right. if I, if I, now listen, I work, if, if I was to put an emergency light in my car and drive down the road with it on, it's against the law right. because I'm indicating an emergency. Right. That's what red lights do. Right. Indicate well, an emergency. You and I'm letting you know that. I'm I understand. The ticket for Thank the you very much. Time. I appreciate that. Because it's not a huge deal. Just Thank you. Make sure you get it fixed. You know, there's nothing saying that you won't be stopped as soon as you leave here. All right. Okay. I understand that. Have a good night. Thank you. We all know how frustrating it can be to get pulled over on your daily commute to work and cops always try to plead with people to understand their point of view and the things they deal with. And to an extent that can be understandable, but this cop came up demanding identification without reasoning, and when asked, why was I stopped, the officer refused to articulate a reason, insisting on identification first. Cops have to realize that encounters like this not only strain public trust, but also spotlight the delicate balance between law enforcement duties and individual freedoms. We as individuals in this country have a Fourth Amendment right to be secure against unreasonable searches and seizures. If more cops understood or cared about our rights, they would construct a better formula by articulating first and demanding later if not ever, to ensure that these interactions do not escalate. That in return would do wonders for their anxiety and officer safety that they love to gripe about. But what are your thoughts? Let me know below and be sure to subscribe on your way out. You know yours and all. Uh, Home of the brave, free us all. Can't do it all and we stand and talk. Only real criminals behind bars. Only real criminals uh, behind uh, bars. Uh, oh, excuse me, Mr. Officer. Why won't pull me over for? This is public property. 